All right, everybody, this is Ross. Today we're talking about the vegetable that you're not growing in your garden that you absolutely have to. This is a trombocino squash called Center Cut. And it was bred in partnership with Cornell, Michael Mazurek, I, sorry for the pronunciation, Dan Barber. And this is generally um, true what they say. It is an improvement on the traditional trombocino squash and a absolute destruction of the zucchini. You'll never use a zucchini after, after this ever again. Uh, maybe you can find some uses for it, but uh, generally this is so incredible. It's like the meatier, umami flavored, nuttier version of a zucchini. And so if you like zucchini, you're gonna like this. If you like, by the way, potato chips, you're gonna like this. Because what I like to do when I cook them at, in the, uh, in, at home, I like to slice them in half lengthwise, similar to a butternut. Uh, I got some butternuts here. This is actually some honey nuts, also from row seven seed, I believe. And um, you slice them long, lengthwise, you put them down, skin side down, you put some olive oil and salt and pepper on them, and then you just bake them in the oven on like 450 uh, until they turn crispy and a little bit brown. And this, to me, is just unreal. They really are so, so good. Um, to the point where I probably will never not grow this again. Uh, just like people will probably never not grow zucchini again. This, to me, is really the answer to that. Now, the vines are extremely vigorous. They will grow and grow and grow. We did have a lot of deer damage. Um, and so the deer love to chew on these things. If you guys have deer, obviously you need to protect your gardens from deer. I did not know we would have deer this year. Um, the neighbors moved, they used to have dogs. And then when the new neighbor moved in, there's no dogs. And I think the dogs were deterring the deer from entering the backyard. But I did finally put up a fence and that's kind of calmed them down a little bit. But the vine is so vigorous that it even has gone through multiple rounds, uh, probably three or four rounds of deer damage. And it actually has climbed up this cattle panel that we've set up and all the way down to the other side. Um, and it's been insanely productive. And this is really when I like to harvest them. I'll show you a little close up. This is probably the perfect size right here. Uh, and the way I know is that this bottom bulbous part here uh, has a flower attached to it and the flower will start to die back. And this bulbous part will become larger. Uh, let me show you what I mean. If I come here to the plants, you'll see some here that are hanging from the, the top of the cattle panel. And you can see this one here still has the flower attached and the flower looks pretty good. There's no browning yet on the flower. And it might not have been pollinated just yet, or it probably was, but it's not enough time since pollination, but once it's pollinated, these things expand in size ridiculously fast, a lot like a zucchini would. And so when this flower starts to die back or falls off, this bulbous part here expands in size. This stays relatively the same thickness. And at that point is when I like to, to harvest them before they really get any larger. I just want this bulbous part here to expand a little bit. But if I wait a little bit longer, like if I come out here tomorrow morning, this will be maybe double the size. And that's not good. Um, they're, they can still taste as good, but to me the texture isn't as good. And I like them thinner because when I put them in the oven and make them crispy, it's easier to do so. It takes less time. So uh, that's what I'll be doing. Probably coming back out here in the evening, taking these off the vine. Uh, you can see the thing is extremely vigorous. It's already come all the way down over here. And uh, I, you just have to train it wherever you want. But if you put it on the ground, I've, I grew these last year along the ground. You will easily cover a 30 by 30 space with one plant. So just be aware of that. Um, they do take up a lot of space. If you put them on these trellises, that saves you a lot of ground space. You can grow vertically. It's really cool to be obviously be able to come in here and just harvest these with your hand. And by the way, you don't have to get a knife or pruning shears. You can just break this off with your hand. Um, 
And so uh, I heard with the Trombocino, I have never really had a lot of luck in the past with the Trombocino squash. Um, but I had heard that the Trombocino, if you let them stay on the vine, they kind of turn into something like a butternut. And they harden up and then you can cook them a little bit differently like that. I don't know if the same thing is true uh, with the center cut. It might not be the purpose of this, but it's worth a shot. Maybe another use for it. Uh, I haven't found out a good way to preserve them. I don't think they probably freeze well. I guess you could dry them, um, but for something like this vine that produces so many, the only real answer is to give them away to your friends or just keep eating them. Roughly every two or three days we're, we've been eating them, cooking them, uh, make a big batch, then we have leftovers. And so, yeah, it's an incredible source of food that is very productive, uh, but also tastes incredible. And so there's so many other uses for it in the kitchen. That's just the way I like to do it. Um, I wonder if you can make them into noodles like you could a zucchini and use a spiralizer um, and then lightly cook them in a pan as a noodle replacement. Um, of course, they grow really well with different types of cheeses and sauces um, and all kinds of herbs. Mint is one that I actually put on this, uh, just some cut up mint. And after I had a, uh, put them in the oven, made them nice and crispy. So you got like these mint potato chips, essentially, with a, a squash flavor. Yeah, it's just, it's just incredible. I hope you guys grow it. Thanks for watching. Hit the subscribe button, hit the like button if you wanna see more from this. And we'll, I'm sure we'll be talking about it again in the future. Take care, guys.